Hello, brothers and sisters. Michael Humble, Seeker of Truth for the Family Fruit Tree. Talked some about this in the past, and uh, if you've been following along, it's quite a bit review. However, Father continues to add new stuff and combine things in different ways, and I think it will bless you. So, the menorah, there's many ways it communicates. Um, one is, one, two, three, it's seven candles, by the way, that God told them exactly how to make it, just like he did the pillars of Solomon's temple, and uh, was very emphatic about it. Make it exactly how I tell you. And, uh, excuse me. <clears throat> so, definitely reasons for that, because it's not just a candle in the temple, it's communication from the communicator of the universe. One way to look at it is one, two, three, four, three, two, one. Our Lord says he walks in the midst of the seven golden candles. And uh, that represents the seven churches, which are spiritual belief systems and realities in people's lives. All believers fall into one of those categories. And uh, also the seven um, feast days. And Pentecost is, I believe, the one that has to do with the 99 sheep. So, <clears throat> why he then sets the physical harvest up to represent the spiritual harvest. And he's very clear that, uh, I know I was going somewhere and I lost it, but it'll come back or come back around. First fruits couple thousand years ago with our Lord Jesus Christ. He is the first fruit. Then those that were resurrected right after him, now called the 24 elders, uh, make up the wave sheaf offering, and they are to gather the first fruits. And then, the 90, at the end times, 99 sheep and lost sheep. The 99 sheep main harvest, saved from the wrath to come, at the first trumpet, they have Holy Spirit within them, the Spirit of Christ in them. And because of that, they are the flood gates or the restraint. And they have to be removed for the flood of enemies to manifest on this planet as such. The lost sheep are at the end of 42 months at the last trumpet. They are the corners and gleanings of the harvest. Then the bowls get poured out, the double portion on wickedness. So family fruit tree, because physical harvest com likened or figured for the spiritual harvest, the gathering of our family. And so, <clears throat> one in Strong's is father. Two in Strong's is father. But... On, in this figure, it re represents the unity of the Father in the Son. Three is fruit in Strong's. And uh, it's Father in the Son in the believer. Okay, number four, Jesus Christ. Uh, four is fruit. He walks in the midst of seven golden candles. And he is literally the first fruit. Three, unity of the Father in the Son in the believer. Fruit and Father, Father. He depicts it this way because we end up one in him. And we're going to look at that. So we also have one, two, three, four. And then we have division. This would be what I call the river where... Uh, we get divided. It's this on phi, 99 sheep, lost sheep. Okay, so one, two, three, four is two divide in strongs. That happened to be the exact minute of day of declaration, 4, 10, 21, in Jerusalem. And what do we have here? One, two, three. First month, 23rd day is 4, 9, because it was 4, 9 where I was. And 2, 34 which is 23rd day in the fourth month, which is true Pentecost 7, 8. 
Then, if that represents the 99 sheep going home and the time of the flood, and we saw last video that when we put the feast days on here, this represents Pentecost. That would make a whole bunch of sense for this. And then we have 4321. Now we know Michael stands up at the time of the Lord's return. Figured in in a vision in Daniel 1013, full, full circle in 113. We also saw last video, which was true Pentecost, July 8th. So 4321 represents that time where Michael stands up and then Jacob's trouble. Number 4321 is Michael, or Micaiah, which is a form of Michael, who is like Yah, rhetorical question. Not saying Michael is. So, what else is this? Oh, it's 32 in 41.0 because on March 2nd 2021 he said tell them yet 40 days and judgment will fall on this earth 40 days later on 410 he had us Michael and Noah's with him make declaration for Satan to be cast out and it's all right there 343 the center tells you about who that is. 343, my birthday 32 plus 63 plus the minute of my birth 248 is 343. Now Father happens to be used 970 in 970 verses. That would be 97, the Pentecost count to get to true Pentecost, July 8th. Full circle, 97 full circle. First use of it is Genesis 2.24. Oh, I almost forgot how that represents 7.7. Seven. <laughs> Too many numbers running around up there, upstairs. Okay, 22 days in the fourth month is the beginning of True Pentecost, 7.7. Seven. Evening is 770, evening of July 8th. Therefore, why do I have therefore there? I don't remember. Oh, first place fathers used. Genesis 2.24. Let's go there. Therefore shall a man leave his father and his mother and shall cleave unto his wife, and they shall be one flesh. Well, that's interesting, considering our Lord coming to get us, his bride. Uh, when would that be? Well, I don't know the day and hour, but I find it very interesting that that's in the verse that its placement means true Pentecost 7-7. The first word in it is therefore, which is used in, it's 5,781 times in 4,491 verses. Well, as far as day of declaration goes, it was the Hebrew year 5781 on 49410 that's 49 in 41.0, 49410 in the Hebrew year 5781, after a 40-day warning from March 2nd. See, it, it does declare and talk about true Pentecost, but it, it is tied to that day of warning and declaration because he told me to give it, he told us to do it, and we obeyed. Do you, I know most of you do, but how mind-blowing is it that it's seven candles? I mean, come on. And it declares all that and we're just getting started. It is truly jaw-dropping. Notice the 343 in the center. Well, on 4921, it was at 434. 1234 in is Jerusalem, 
434 where I was. Well, and how art thou fallen, O Lucifer? Use 434 times. Michael and his angels making declaration. Oh, and this is for Jesus Christ in 33, which is come, Lord Jesus. 434 and 343 is 777. He happens to be the Hebrew gematria of King of Kings and Lord of Lords. <sighs> Felt that. What do I got down here? I got to look. I did these charts a few days ago and then I, well, I, I get lost and... Oh, I see. I just explained this. 410 at 1234 is both 123 pinning 49 and 234 pinning true Pentecost. 23rd day in the fourth month. 777 divided by phi is 479.6296 repeating forever. That represents the man-child because Jupiter was in Virgo's womb 296 days. And uh, there's, it goes past that, but I'm not trying to get into that right now. Strong's number for 4796. Oh, 96, by the way. 47 is the first part of the Pentecost count and then add 50 days. 96 would pin 7-7. Seven, seven. So the count is 97, bringing us to July 8th. 96 brings us to July 7th and the beginning, because it starts in the evening. And uh, 4796 is to rejoice with or rejoice together. Oh, oh we're going to be. That day or any other day very soon. We are going to be rejoicing together. That'll be the understatement of history. So, paused at exactly 1234. You just can't make it up because I'm paying no attention to that. Okay, fruit number four, Jesus Christ, the first fruit. First place it's used, Daniel 4, 12, happens to be the 112th verse of Daniel, pinning the beginning of true Pentecost, 7, 7. Kind of jumping back and forth on you guys, but... Father, speaking of Father, first use in the New Testament is Matthew 2.22. But when he heard that, this is what I'd call a reverse figure, uh, but when he had heard that Archelaus did reign in Judea in the room of his father, 47th verse, Again, beginning of the Pentecost count. But uh, Archelaus did reign as number 936. That happened to be the time the moon clock was set at. If you remember what that means. If you don't, don't worry about it. Okay. Now we can... Uh, there is some new stuff on here, but don't look at that yet. We can't, all right, we're going to since I pointed it out. So if we go this way, one, four, one, a voice of the archangel used 141 times, but add it up at six, two, four, two, okay, and these are what? Arcs. 242 is 8, and 343 at the center we already talked about, and it is 10. So it's 6810, or 681 full circle, and number 681 
is to light. First uh, place it's used, Luke 8.16. I've said this is an ordered communication, so if this had something to say about the menorah, I would say that qualifies. Six. Oh, there it is, eight, sorry, eight sixteen. It helps when you get to the right verse. No man, when he hath lighted a candle, cover it with a vessel or puts it under a bed, but he sets it on a candlestick, that they which enter in may see the light. I find that very cool. It's also a joining together. That's exactly what it's the family fruit tree is about. Our family being one in our Lord Jesus Christ, in our Father. Now, if we take the two, if we take uh, one, two, three, we add them or multiply them, it's six. So it's six, four, six. That happens to be the word apostasia, which means departure. It's used one time in 2 Thessalonians 2, verse 3. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there come a 646, a departure. Translated into a falling away first. And then that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. Because once the floodgates are removed, the flood manifests. Now this could mean a falling away of the church from God or from people from God. Check. You can check that box big time. If that is what it means, it's not the main use because the main use has to be defined in the context that it's used. And the context is given in verse 6, And now you know what withholdeth that, it, that he might be revealed in his time. For the mystery of iniquity doth already work. Only he who now letteth will let. He who now restrains will restrain until he be taken out of the way the Spirit of Christ in the believers, the 99 sheep, I departure first and then that wicked be revealed. Notice it's in 223. That happens to be 22nd day, 22 days and three months is true Pentecost, 7-7. And he still ties it back to 410. 21. It's the 104th verse of Thessalonians when you include 1 Thessalonians. And that ties exactly to the name of our Father, Yahweh. Yahweh. The breath of life. 646, well, his name means behold the hand, behold the nail. Picturing his son on the cross. Two hands, and what do you, so it's four nails. Absolutely it is, it's a four part overall model. 51 is father of the wall, or father is a wall. We're gonna talk about why it's both. And we know a three part believer gathering, Three times 51, three walls, is 153 big fish. Four, when we include our Lord Jesus Christ, is 204, and in Strong's, that's chief cornerstone. Okay, but it ties exactly to this. Behold the hand, behold the nail. The nail is the vav. It's a literally a Hebrew letter. It, its value is six. And our Lord is number four, Jesus Christ. This would be his heart. 
And what do we have across here? Two hands and six, four, six. All of the Father's communication, his divine wisdom ties together. And of course it does, it must, if it's from him. So total we have four sixes. We know three sixes is one thing that, just like phi, okay? Phi represent, it's a sign of our family, sign of his coming. It's also a Greek letter with a value 500, which in Strong's is Antichrist. So it has duality, as does six, or in this case, six, 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 six. Four nails, four vows. Um, righteousness in Strong's is six, 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 six. And we're, he has made unto us righteousness, justification, sanctification, and redemption. Phi 1.62 regarding the two-part gathering at the end, and it would look like this, 646. Six. And that's why 1.62 is the golden ratio, phi. It's vav one and vav two, tied exactly to this. And what are these? Arcs. Let's go back to John 7. We got to verse 39. But this spake he of the Spirit, which they that believe on him should receive. For the Holy Ghost was not yet given, because that Jesus was not yet glorified. That's the 322nd verse. Because it was the Spirit was received on true Pentecost. 323 represents it. It's the 323rd verse. Three months and 23 days is the Pentecost count. If we keep going, many of the people, therefore, when they heard this saying, said of a truth, this is the prophet. Verse 41. That was verse 40. Verse 41, others said, this is the Christ, but some said, shall Christ come out of Galilee? Hath not the scripture said that Christ comes out of the seed of David, out of the town of Bethlehem, where David was? So there was a division among the people because of him. There was a division. Now we looked at that one, two, three, four in the Old Testament. In the Old Testament, that's division. Tied exactly to the menorah. In the New Testament, it's number 4978. That'd be 4 9, day of declaration, where I was, and 7 8, true Pentecost. Go to Psalm 78, verse 49. So, so 4 9, 7 8 is division of the hundred sheep and light and darkness. 49th verse of Psalm 78. Is that what that means? I don't know. But it's worthy of note. We've looked at this verse a bunch. It has everything to do with the flood that's coming. Psalm 78, verse 49, he cast upon them the fierceness of his anger, wrath, and indignation, and trouble. Notice the language, he cast upon them. Satan and his angels were cast out. And he cast upon them the fierceness of his anger, wrath, and indignation, and trouble by sending evil angels among them. And right in the center here, we got this 97 for Jesus Christ, 97 Pentecost count, 8 new beginning, and 7 8.
And there was a division because of him. Is number 1223 one father, two father and the son, and 223, which Moed divine appointments used 223 times, isn't that fitting? Because 22 days and three months begins true Pentecost 7-7. Seven, seven. Also from the the day marked on Phi, 3-2-20, the week the world changed, it's 1,223 days to 7, 8. I said I was going to talk about 1111. Why do so many see 1111 for a good amount of our lives? I'm one of them. Well, we're going to look at that. It has everything to do, again, with divine wisdom. Same message. It's a four-part model. One is Father, and it's not just... It is Father, but it's, it's one in the Father. Let's go to 1 Corinthians. 15, we're going to pick it up in, uh, so last video or two videos ago, we looked at verse 23, verse 22, for as an animal I'll die, even so in Christ shall all be made alive. But every man in his own order, Christ, he's the first fruit, then the first fruits, that'd be the 24 elders, then they that are his at his parousia, his coming, which is not a singular event. Just like the first time was three and a half years, it's a period of time with multiple events, namely a two-part gathering. They that are his at his coming is the hundred sheep. They're gathered in two pieces. That's why it ties to the physical harvest model and to our father's name and to the menorah and to Phi, and to the pillars of Solomon's temple, and on and on, but I'm not trying to beat you up with it. This is worthy of a review really quick. Every man in his own order. Every man, 153 big fish, new beginning, 5783, year of division, used in seven, eight verses, in his own 113 times true Pentecost count pinning 7-8 in his own order afterwards they that are Christ that is coming afterwards is 1899 189 July 8th is the 113th day on Father's calendar 189th day on the Gregorian calendar for divine order slash the 99 sheep going home man child coming back We'll know when we know. Okay. Verse 24. Then cometh the end when he shall have delivered up the kingdom to God. You got to be really careful with the he's in here. Because we're talking about the father and the son. Then cometh the end when he, Christ, shall have delivered up the kingdom to God father even the father when he shall have put down all rule and authority for he must reign till he hath till father hath put all enemies under his christ's feet the last enemy that shall be destroyed is death for he father hath put all things under his christ's feet but when he saith all things are put under him, Jesus Christ, it is manifest that he, Father, is accepted, which did put all things under Christ's feet. 
And when all things shall be subdued unto him, Christ, then shall the Son also himself be subject unto him, the Father, that put all things under him, Jesus Christ, that God the Father may be all in all. One represents the Father, but it also represents one in the Father. John 17. Verse 1, these words spake Jesus, oops, sorry, verse 21, verse 20, neither pray I for these alone, but for them also which shall believe on me through their word, that they all may be one, as thou, Father, art in me, and I in thee, that they also may be one in us that the world may believe that thou hast sent me. One in the Father. Four part model. Jesus Christ, first fruits, main harvest, corners and gleanings. Division in the middle because we have 2,000 years in between-ish. Jesus Christ and the first fruits making up the wave sheaf, sheaf offering, they would be the nails in the feet, in behold the hand, behold the nail. And then the two hands at the end, what do they look like? Pillars of Solomon's temple, just like this looks like. And it's all in and through Jesus Christ. We talked about 51, Father, think about the accuracy of this. Father of the wall, and Father is a wall because it's one in him. And he is Father of the wall. Three-part gathering, 51, Father of the wall, 153 big fish, 4 times 51, 204, chief cornerstone, all in and through Christ. So each one, Jesus Christ, one in the Father, and then the fruit, three-part believer gathering, one in the Father totaling four. Add them together, it totals four. Multiply them, and it totals one. That <laughs> is so beautiful if you get it. One in the Father. <laughs> Through four, our Lord Jesus Christ. <laughs> So simple, yet so elegant and beautiful. Speaking of the pillars of Solomon's temple, 1 Kings 7, verse 15. For he cast two pillars of brass of 18 cubits high apiece. A line of 12 cubits did compass either of them about. And he made two chapters or caps of molten brass to set upon the tops of the pillars. The height of the one was five cubits and the height of the other capiter was five cubits. And he said, grace, grace unto it. We saw from Fibonacci sequence, 55 represents, it's the small piece, but it, it's the beginning and the ending of Great Tribulation, literally where grace gets the 99 sheep there, and grace, even though they're under the law in the 42 months of Great Tribulation, they're still saved by grace. 
They just also have to work. They have to believe even unto death. But it's grace. That's the 233rd verse of 1 Kings. 23 days and 3 months and we're talking about the division of the 100 sheep, which is the two pillars. And he made the pillars two rows round about the one network to cover the chapters that were upon the top with pomegranates. Sorry. Verse 17, and nets of checker work and wreaths of chain work for the chapters which were upon the top of the pillars, seven for the one and seven for the other. Let's just review that little bit before we get into the pomegranates. 18 high, well that would be three, Vav, six plus six plus six. And at the end, two pillars. 18 and then caps of 5. What is that? 23. For 2023. Division. Of the 99 sheep and law sheep. Line of 12 cubits. Back to our menorah. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 now. Starting at Jesus Christ. Number four, he's the beginning and the ending. Four plus seven plus one, 12. Four plus six plus two, 12. Four plus five plus three, 12. Four part model, starting with him. He's the beginning, the end, and the next beginning. Four plus four plus four is 12. And he is the bullseye. That's why he's Aldebaran in the bull, in the heavens, the bull's eye. The bull being our father, Taurus. Four twelves. Go to Revelation 22. Talking about New Jerusalem. And he showed me, verse 1, a pure river of water of life. Remember, out of his belly shall flow living water. And he showed me a pure river of water of life, clear as crystal, proceeding out of the throne of God and of the Lamb. And in the midst of the street of it, and either side of the river, which was there, the tree of life, which bear what kind of fruits? Twelves. Twelve is spiritual completion and perfection in administration or governance, which changes every time some of our family goes home or it becomes a manifested reality at that time. Just like seven is spiritual completion and perfection. Twelve manner of fruits. And yielded her fruit every month. Yielded. 48 times. Why? Four twelves. It's hidden and figured in Daniel 9. And he shall build the street and the wall of it, even in troublous times. Seven chains on each. Why? Well, seven seals, day of the Lord, 99 sheep raptured, saved from the wrath to come. Seven tr at the first trumpet, Seven trumpets, day of the Lord, lost sheep go home at the seventh trumpet.
Back to First Kings. Verse 18 or 1 or 100 in 78. Well, 1 or 10 technically. In 78. Uh, and he made the pillars and two rows round about the one network to cover the chapters that were upon the top with pomegranates. And so did he for the other one. And the chapters that were upon the top of the pillars were of lily work in the porch. Four cubits. Well, we know the four represents our Lord Jesus Christ and he feeds his flock among the lilies, Song of Solomon. And the chapters, verse 20, upon the two pillars had pomegranates also above, over and against the belly, which was by the network, and the pomegranates were 200 in rows round about upon the other chapter. So there's 400 total. The tav, the cross in ancient Hebrew, literally a picture of a cross. The last letter of Hebrew, its value was 400. There's 200 on each in rows of 100. And he set up the pillars in the porch of the temple, and he set up the right pillar, and he called the name there of Jachin, Yakin. And he set up the left pillar and called the name there of Boaz. In it is strength, it is established, and in it is strength. Interestingly, the Freemasons are all into the pillars of Solomon's temple. I can't tell you why. And right in the center of them, is Sirius. The heliacal rising of Sirius is a big day they look toward. Happens to be July 4th. Three days before the 7th. So, aren't the pillars talked about anywhere else? Yeah, they are. Well, if it's just the same thing, I mean, we don't need to, like, beat it up. Well, let's just take a look. Jeremiah 52, Daniel says, And I knew by the books, 184 times, of Jeremiah, Daniel 9, 2. Well, there's 52 books of Jeremiah. And in 52, 23... That would be five grace. 52 is unity of father, or is unity, uh, 52 is offspring. It's sons, the bet noon in Hebrew. Bet is two, which literally is father in the son. And 50 is offspring or heirs. 52, 23, 223, Moed, 223 times, pinning, seven, seven. Well, that would be, it's 97 to the eighth. So seven, seven would be the 96. I wonder if there's anything about that in here. 52, 23. Let's go to 22. And a chapter of brass was upon it. Well, 21. And concerning the pillars, the height of one pillar was 18 cubits. And a fillet of 12 cubits did compass it about. The thickness was four fingers, Jesus Christ. A chapter of brass was upon it. And the height was of one chapter was five cubits. Oh, same description, right? 
And so the height thereof was five cubits with networks and pomegranates. Upon the chapters round about, all of brass, the second pillar also had pomegranates, were like unto these. Verse 23. And there were 9523. And there were 96 pomegranates on a side, and all the pomegranates upon the network were a hundred round about. He changes it to 96 and 4. Matching the verse number. 5, 223. Painting true Pentecost. What's the other thing he ever marks out? Day of declaration. Well, what's the difference? It was 200, now it's 96. What's the difference? 104. Song of Solomon. Psalms, Proverbs, Song of Solomon. Or is Ecclesiastes? Yeah, Ecclesiastes, then Song of Solomon. Chapter 6, now in verse 2 and verse 3, my beloved has gone down into his garden to the bed of spices to feed in the gardens and to gather lilies. Remember the lily work? I am my beloved, my beloved's, and my beloved is mine. He feedeth among the lilies. Now that's verse 79 and 80. 6 1 gets us there, which is verse 78. Whither is thy beloved gone? O thou fairest among women. probably want to see my artwork again because it's so exquisite. <laughs> I want to make sure you get that. Food for thought. Covered this last video. We didn't cover this at all yet. 223 we've talked quite a bit about. Closed with it pretty much. Uh, it's storm or tempest 20, 2230. 223 full circle, storm or tempest, used Isaiah 322. Same thing, 22 days and three months, three months and 22 days. Let's close there. We'll go there since I brought it up. Isaiah. Sorry. Thirty-two. This is like the fourth or fifth place Father led me. Way after he told me he was going to give me new oil, new understanding regarding what had been sealed, and it was a numerical communication that was sealed. Isaiah thirty-two. We'll pick it up in verse 1. Behold, a king shall reign in righteousness, and princes shall rule in 4, 9, 4, 10. 49, 41.0, judgment. 296 man-child times. 32, 2. And a man, or 322. And a man shall be as a hiding place from the wind and a covert from the tempest 
as rivers of water in a dry place, as the shadow of a great rock in a weary land. That is the man-child in great tribulation. And it's in Isaiah 3.22 and Tempest 2.23 full circle. Both pinning 7.7 seven, the beginning of true Pentecost. Interestingly. That's enough for today. Glory to God in the highest. Glory to his son, Jesus the Christ. Blessings to you. I love you guys.